Hi y'all, this is Regina. I did a modification to the birthday cake earrings and gift tag slash pendant slash ornament and added this cake to it, this, the vanilla and chocolate cake with the strawberry icing or whatever color you want to make the icing. Um, let me show you how the stitches, I, I didn't stitch this out because I just did a slight modification and changed colors. Uh, I modified this area down here at the bottom and I know it'll be fine. Um, la, 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 la. So let me show you how it stitches out. So once again, oh it's not going to let me do that with that up there. Okay, so we'll close that. So uh, as usual you put two layers of wash away stabilizer, use T-pins or the shelf liner method. and. Um, and then it's going to stitch the plate first. Now I have it in gold. You can do it in silver or red or pink or blue, whatever color you want. And um, and then when it f finishes this, it's going to do the satin stitching around the edges. And let me speed this up a little bit. And then it's going to do the white cake. I'm go up and do the top one here in a minute and then it'll do the chocolate cake in the center and it'll do the satin stitching around the edges when this is done. Remember to trim, trim your thread tails as you go along. Every time you change colors, trim your thread tails. Alright, and then it does the icing on the top and on the sides and then it's going to do um, the candles, the three candles, and then it'll do the flame on each of the candles, and then it'll do the loop. Okay, so at any point you can change the colors that you want, just make sure that you trim your thread tails. All right, so if you want to see how the um, earrings stitch. It's going to do the plate here and then come over here and do this plate. Then it'll do the white. Let me see if I can speed this up just a little bit. There we go. It'll do the white cake here in a minute. It's just like it did on the gift tag, but it jumps from one earring to the other when it finishes. Once again, trim your thread tails before you put in your other color and make sure your bobbin is wound from your top thread. Don't use bobbin thread. Okay, and then it'll jump over here and do this cake, and then it'll jump over here and do the candles here in a minute, and then it'll jump over on this side and do that, those candles, and then it'll do the flames and yada 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 yada. Okay, and same thing with the um, the two earrings, let's see here, let me, so when it has the uh, two sets of earrings, it's going to do the top set and then it'll come and do the bottom set. So let me expand this sewing order a little bit so you can see here's the plates for the top, here's the plates for the bottom. Now if you want to do uh, do one set with one color plate, you can and then when it jumps down and, and you get the plates again, you can change that to, let's, let's say uh, we want to change it to silver. You can, now if you don't have software that you can change the colors, I highly suggest either downloading the, the software from Floriani. It's free. It's called Creative Express, I think. Uh, that those links are in every description on my earrings, on my designs, and also uh, Dime, which is uh, D Designs and Machine Embroidery. They have the Embroidery Tool Shed, and you can change colors in those programs to see what it's going to look like. So s let's say you decide you want um, a purple icing on the cake down here. Let's go. Uh, somebody really loves purple. So you can change those col 
colors around. I got the hiccups. And this gives you the opportunity, it, either one of those softwares that I mentioned, to see what it's going to look like. Okay, um, So I just wanted to let you see this chocolate and white cake with the strawberry icing. All right, that I have, I have added to the file. Now I've also added a design bundle set in case you don't. If you want to get all the freestanding lace earrings, I mean the. Um, oh, sorry, I'm I'm thinking about something else. I'm thinking about the awareness ribbons. Um, so I've added this. That makes three cakes, three different cake orientations that are now in the. Uh, freestanding lace birthday cake earrings. Oh, I've got awareness ribbons on my brain. So I hope you enjoy stitching those for somebody in your family or friends that are getting ready to have a birthday. And um, uh, post. Post on the group. Let me see what you're doing. I haven't seen any pictures. Would love to see what you're doing with these designs that uh, that you either purchase or I give away in the group. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.